Justin and I are just getting ready to head out to GP. Gonna do a little shopping, a little sightseeing maybe. Depends how the weather is over there in Alberta. Cause over here in BC, we had some snow this week, but it's for the most part gone. My parents had sent us a care package and this lovely jacket was thrown in, but it's a little tight in the shoulders. So I'm hoping that I can find a different size and compare because it does fit. It's just when you move your arms around, it gets a little tight which isn't the most comfortable. So gonna see if I can do that and hopefully hit up Costco. I'm out of Roar now, so we need to get that going without the regular subscription we used to have. It's just a little bit harder where we are now. And let's hit the road and maybe we'll see some elk today. So here's just the rest of the care package. I got two new books, we got some snacks and some hangers, probably for like taco stuff. But I'm excited because these are two of the books that are on my list that I was hoping to try to find. And they're both by Deb Stratus. So once I finish the book I'm on, maybe I'll start these ones next. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. We've made it into Alberta to Grand Prairie. Gas is way cheaper here. It's 1569. Back home it was 1669 when we left. So I'm gonna fill up here because 10 cents is a lot. And we're at Petrocan, so we also get our three cents off a liter because we've linked our cards to it for their bonus program. So if you drive a vehicle, look into the different bonus programs. Because I know Shell has one, Petro has one, and maybe even Chevron. And, and Co-op definitely does if you've got co-ops near you. Because they do a cashback situation. So look into your programs if you drive vehicles. Because it is totally worth it. And who doesn't want to save a little money, right? You don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see our trip to Grand Prairie, got our Costco haul in the back and grabbed four cases of Roar so we don't have to come back anytime soon. Now it's time to head home, have some food, and unpack everything. So we made it back to town. We did stop to get some food because we're hungry and don't really want to spend some time cooking. But I did get some bubble tea from Edo. So I'm interested to see how that is. I've never had bubble tea from them. And this might be the only place in town to even get it. You know, small town life up north. So I'm hoping it tastes good. It even has coconut jellies, which I was not expecting. I kind of assumed it would be the tapioca pearls because she didn't ask if I wanted any different toppings in it. But she did ask if I wanted full sweet or half sweet. So I did half sweet because I wanted to try it. And I usually do like a 50, 75% sweet anyways when I'm in Vancouver. So this is mango bubble tea and I'm hoping that it tastes really good. Okay, now that I'm home, it is time to try out that bubble tea to see if it actually tastes good. Mix it up a little bit while the lid is still sealed because you don't want to spill it everywhere. Let's see. Let's see how this tastes. Yep, definitely the half sweet, but I think I might even prefer it half sweet. Kind of a mango tea with the coconut jellies. So it's not bad. Not sometimes what I do with my fancy bubble tea. If you've ever seen 
my pictures on Instagram from when I'm in Vancouver where I do sometimes like more of a milkshake kind or smoothies but this is definitely like the traditional tea flavor which is fine it's different but now I know at least I can get bubble tea up here so it, it's time to eat my lunch now I did get the special today which was their ramen so a little tip here it is the chicken veggies corn carrot cabbage seaweed broccoli and now i'm just gonna relax a little bit maybe watch a little tv and then i think we're gonna be taking taco out for a walk in a little bit but i will also show you that new jacket once i have finished eating okay so here is the jacket just a black pleather jacket I really liked this neck piece because it buttons and it just like sits really nice. The other one was like had all these curves and like extra pieces. It just didn't fit the same. So I like this one. Can't wait to go out and try it for an event or maybe just a date night with Justin. We'll see. But right now it is that time for Taco's Walk. So we're going to go do that and get some sunshine. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just gonna do a little reading. I've started this new book, The Light After the War by Anita Abriel. Abriel. But gonna get that done about a third of the way through. Full book review to come. So stay tuned for that. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.